Chroma Rush is a new auto rifle added to the game in, as part of Season of the Splicer and today I'm going to have a look at the weapon stats, the perks, the god rolls to chase in PV and PVP plus how to get the weapon and I'm also going to check out the lore too. Now if you're new around here or find this useful don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, Chroma Rush is a legendary kinetic auto rifle with a rapid fire frame, meaning deeper ammo reserves, and you get a slightly faster reload when the magazine is empty. So, looking at the stats, we've got 18 for impact, 32 for range, 60 for stability, 42 for handling, 52 for reload speed. It's a 720 rounds per minute auto rifle with 51 in the magazine. Well, next up, let's have a look at the Chroma Rush perks and the God Rolls to Chase in PvE and PvP. So this one can roll with a couple of new perks. So first of all, we've got Tunnel Vision. So reloading after defeating a target greatly increases target acquisition and aim down sight speed for a short duration. And there's also Adrenaline Junkie where grenade final blows grant bonus damage and handling for a moderate duration. So as well as the new perks, it comes with some classics in the perk pool including Dynamic Sway Reduction, Feeding Frenzy, Kill Clip, and the one that everyone wants, Rampage. So for PvE, I'd say Feeding Frenzy and Rampage would be a really good roll. Another one for PvE would be Heating Up and Kill Clip. For PvP, Moving Target and Tap the Trigger would be good. Or maybe Dynamic Sway Reduction and Kill Clip. Well next up, let's have a look at how to get Chroma Rush in Destiny 2. So to get this one, it is a random drop from the end of the override activity in Season of the Splicer. So this one comes from the Splicer Loot Chest at the end, which is on the right as you look at the two chests. So you're going to need a key code to open that chest which you can craft by gathering ether you can get ether from running strikes crucible and gambit and what you're going to need to do is open up the splicer gauntlet in your quest tab to craft that key code and then you'll be able to open the chest you can also get it from umbral engrams this season by focusing those engrams onto the splicer loot and you can find the prismatic recaster and the umbral decoder in the helm and that one is now accessed directly from the destinations tab well, that is it for Chroma Rush stats, the perks, the god rolls, and also how to get it. But next up, let's have a look at the Chroma Rush lore. So loads of really interesting stories stuck inside Destiny. And I think it's always worth highlighting the lore tabs as they're always really interesting. So we've got Chroma Rush lore. Drink from the data stream. The Elixni awkwardly shoaled its way onto the empty stool at the ramen shop and rested its four elbows on the bar. Morris looked up over the huge pot of broth thinking a titan is in one of their ridiculous helmets and arrived for lunch and cooled down. It wasn't until he absolutely stepped into the bar that he realised who his customer was. Metal plating covered the creature's forehead and the side of its face, ending in a nozzle that hissed in a steam of bluish mist. A haphazard collision of heavy canvas and metallic weave draped over its shoulders. A vanguard lanyard dangled absurdly from its neck. It was small for a Lixney, but its angular head still towered above Maurice as it hunched over the bar. Four blue eyes looked back at him from above a lipless mouth. It opened, revealing rows of thin, sharp teeth. One item ramen soup, the elixir croaked stiltedly. Please? Maurice held his breath, tightened his grip on his pencil and he grinned. He grinned when he was nervous and this seemed like a good time as any. The elixir grinned back, nodded, and opened its horrible mouth again. I smelled it, and the smell was good, it said. Morris scanned the bar. His other customers sat frozen, their bowls of ramen steaming silently in front of them. He realised his mouth had apparently decided to talk on its own, as if nothing were wrong, and he heard himself ask, How spicy? Zero to five stars? The Elixney had anticipated this question. Spicy five stars, it said holding up one hand with three claws splayed and another with two. May I receive additional dead flesh, please? You got it, Reese said, his even voice betraying none of his tension. He turned back to the bubbling pot of broth. Muscle memory took over and he soon found himself placing a steaming bowl of ramen in front of the creature who clucked cheerfully. Morris took half a step back and a small crowd was forming in the walkway in front of the restaurant. Some of the customers leaned in as their curiosity overcame their terror. And Morris noticed the woman in seat two needed more water, but she could wait. 
The Elixni raised its arm tentatively and then looked to Morris again. What is the protocol? Morris found himself unsure of which pair of Elixni's eyes to look into and focused on the ramen instead. Well, you eat your noodles and your pork and egg with... Egg? repeated the Elixni, enjoying the unfamiliar word. Yeah, egg. You eat all that with the chopsticks and you get the broth with the spoon. Morris saw how the Elixni's claws dwarf the ceramic spoon. Or you can just lift up the whole bowl and drink it. Morris mime lifting the bowl to his lips. The Elixni nodded, its claws tapped the metal on its face and the hissing blue mist ceased. The Elixni held the chopsticks and tested their weight and respectfully placed them on the back of the bar before bringing the bowl to its mouth with its upper arms. Above the ramen bowl, Morris saw all four of the Elixni's eyes close. A long moment of tension fell over the shop, the silence broken only by a staccato series of hissing slurps. Finally, the Elixni lowered the empty bowl, and it breathed in as the blue mist resumed in its thin spray. It looked towards Maris. I tasted all of it, it said with deep satisfaction, and I'm very thankful. Morris's grin turned into a tentative smile. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And the Elixni stood and held out what looked to be a small model of the Traveller. It glowed as it floated in the Elixni's palm. Compensation, it said. Morris reached to take the treasure, and then drew his hand back. For new customers, there is no charge, he said. No compensation. Thank you for coming in. The Elixni cocked its head and then clucked, and the model vanished beneath the folds in its cloak. It smiled at Maurice. You, it said, and then cleared its throat with a rumble. You are a... And then the five spirited words that followed were replete with hard consonants. In the confused silence that followed, the Elixni nodded graciously, then walked through the crowd outside and deeper into the city. Well, interesting stuff there from the lore. And if you've been walking around the tower, you will notice the Elixni just kind of roaming around. And, uh, well, that's what happens when one goes into a ramen shop. There is a funny situation going on in the town at the moment. So if you're down hanging out near Ada at the moment, you can see two Elixni looking at a vending machine and wondering how to work it. Well, let me know what you think down in the comments about Chroma Rush and let me know about the roles that you got and what you're chasing. Well, that is it for this guide on how to get Chroma Rush in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description. Or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. See you soon.